Hey Mama, welcome to Holistic Health for Moms. Do you want to lose weight and have more energy? Do you find yourself up late at night searching Google about hormones, weight loss, and how to get healthy? Do you wake up with big ambitious goals only to feel overwhelmed and frustrated when the scale doesn't move and you look five months pregnant after eating again? Hey, I'm Jennifer. I'm a mom of three, a conventional health nurse practitioner that also believes in natural and holistic health. I kept hearing my patients tell me that they were overwhelmed, tired, and couldn't lose weight. They were overwhelmed with all the health and weight loss information out there. It hurt my heart to see women who wanted answers and solutions to only be given prescriptions and vague directions like eat better and exercise. They needed to get out of the traditional healthcare box and I wanted to help. So I created this podcast. In this podcast, you'll learn about optimizing your health and transforming your mindset. You'll learn about tools to help you build on what you know is right for you and reclaim the energy and health you know you should have. If this sounds like you, raise your hand and say present and accounted for, and let's get this party started. I feel like a fat cow. I literally just heard that from a sweet mama today, and it breaks my heart to hear women say stuff like this about themselves. We work so hard to keep our kids mentally and physically healthy, but we beat ourselves up constantly. We try and we fail multiple times to reach that magic number on the scale, but to no avail, it never happens. Or when it does, we don't stay there long, and even if we do get there, we're still not happy. Is this you, friend? Do you beat yourself up mentally while you're trying to keep your family healthy and happy? You feel like it's just not enough. You're not doing enough. Well, I'm so glad you're here to hear today's episode. You're going to be glad you stayed around because you're going to feel better about yourself and have a better outlook after listening to this episode. Skrrr! Hold up, real quick. Did you know that I have a meal planning template that will help you get your weekly meals planned in 30 minutes or less with many of the ingredients you already have on hand? So, if not, download your meal planning toolkit at jennifercobel.com forward slash meal planning toolkit. Then you can also get my top five grocery hacks and meal prep and pre-cooking tips. So, head on over there now to get that. Okay, so, I shared with you a story about a mama that was talking very negatively about herself. And it just, and it broke my heart, y'all. But... I saw myself in her. Like, I catch myself on the daily talking negatively in my head or having thoughts go through my head that do not make my day any better. I honestly avoid looking in the mirror in the morning because I feel like what I'm seeing is gross. Or I have thoughts go through my head like, oh, you need to get a boob job. Or, oh, look at those wrinkles you need to get some Botox I'm oh you're starting to look old and those thoughts lead to a not so good mood which in turn can spill over into my morning with my kids and my husband and this just does not turn out well does this happen to you well can I just share a piece of my heart today and what I'm going to share is something that I have learned or heard over the past year, year and a half, several times, and it just keeps popping up. And it's so important in my life. And I just wanted to share it with you. And it starts with 2 Corinthians 10, 5, where it says, we demolish arguments in every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So, this this is my heart today. When I look in the mirror and say gross or ugh or think about altering my body in some way, I'm looking at God's creation and turning up my nose. I'm telling God that what he created is not good enough. And this verse tells me, and I'm sharing with you, it tells us to take captive every thought 
and make it obedient to Christ. I was made in the image of God. You were made in the image of God. So by saying gross and ugh, by taking those thoughts and taking them captive, I can change them, change that thought to, wow, look at this body. It is so amazing at what it has done. Like when I look at my stretch marks, or if you look at your stretch marks, if you have them, or that extra skin or that extra little bit that you have around your belly, when I look at it, I just think about the babies God formed in my womb and allowed me to carry for nine months in birth. And like they're living, breathing miracles. And I thank God for them. I thank God that he allowed my body to sustain these babies. And did I get stretch marks from it? Yeah, I did. I got a lot of them. Um, But instead of dwelling on those negative things, I tried to dwell on the positive that came from them. When I walk or run or work out, I try not to focus on the discomfort and the pain, not true pain, but, you know, just the mental pain that comes with it. And I try to thank God for the ability that he gave me to do these things. I thank God for the time that he's blessed me with with to walk or run or work out. And by taking these thoughts captive, we can remind ourselves that we are made in the image of God. And it allows me to take those thoughts, those negative thoughts into, I'm so blessed to be able to live where I live, or I'm so blessed to have a job. I'm so blessed to have children. I'm so blessed to have freedom. I'm blessed to have a relationship with Christ. And when we change our thoughts, we are definitely more likely to change our behaviors. And our behaviors, many, many times, are what have gotten us into the predicament we're in at the moment, whether it's what we're eating or what we're doing that's leading to a not-so-great lifestyle. So for me, personally, I struggle with the end of the day when I'm completely exhausted and I just want a ginormous spoonful of melted chocolate chips with some almond butter and I want to sit in the pantry floor and eat it and feel sorry for myself and chill out. (laughs) And even though that one thing is not necessarily bad for me, It's not necessarily beneficial for me physically, mentally, or emotionally. So, my sweet, sweet friend, thank you for listening to this. But I'll leave you with this one suggestion that will benefit you greatly in your weight loss journey. Take your thoughts captive. Make sure your thoughts about weight loss are lining up with God's will for you and your life. When you eat the kale, (laughs) thank God for creating the kale. Or thank God for, you know, fill in the blank with with whatever healthy food that you're taking in or whatever activity you're doing. Um, You know, thank God for the kale that's full of the nutrients that you can eat to sustain your life and give you energy so you can keep up with your little ones and still have energy left over at the end of the day. So fill this journey with positive thoughts that are glorifying to God so you can enjoy the adventure that is life. Changing your thoughts will change your actions. And before you know it, you'll be eating broccoli and kale and loving it. So I can't wait to hear your success stories from just changing your mindset by taking your thoughts captive. I hope you have a blessed day and I can't wait to talk to you soon. See you again next week. Bye. Okay, mama, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, would you take 30 seconds and subscribe to my email list? By signing up, you get my free meal planning template to help you start optimizing your health today. Also, if you could leave me a review, this helps this podcast rate helps more sisters see it, and it lights me up to know this podcast is helping you. Okay, time to go make sure the clothes are washed, 
Ball uniforms are ready and snacks are prepared for this week full of games and chaos. I'll meet you back next week for another episode. Have a great week, sisters.